let's see how to create express server and we have these stages the developer environment project server and then the browser so this stage represents the developer so first step is that we need to install node.js and that is the environment and we have done that one already and next step is that we need to create project directory and we have also done that and next step is that we need to initialize npm inside the project and then we will go ahead and install express and then we create the server file and then require express module and we will go ahead and create the server by setting up some middlewares define route listen on port and then we make request and response and we can also test the server so with this flow let's get back to visual studio code to implement that but before that i have changed my icon to use helium icon theme and let me go ahead and activate my icon and this is what it means or it represents it has changed the style for my icons all right so let's go ahead and create our express server i'm going to open the terminal and then we are going to issue npm init meaning npm initialization and with this one we can give it a default flag and that is dash dash yes and this one will give us the default configuration so if i hit enter now let's see it has given us the default configuration for our package.json file and if you check over here this is a package.json file the purpose for this file is that it is going to help us to manage all the packages that we are going to use in our project and also we can run some script for example how to start our server let's move on to the next step and that is we need to install express so let me clear it and then install express as npmi and then the express so let's go ahead and then configure the package.json file before that let me explain these properties the name represents the name of our project for this one it has taken the name as our folder name which is inside this one as backend and in case your project is about block you can say main backend or the name of your project for me i'm gonna change this one to masintech block backend you can name it whatever you want and then the version of your project you can change this one based on new features that you add to this project for me i'm going to leave it as it is and then the description i will say this is the api for the backend and then the main this is really important it has taken the name of our file in case your main file is app then the value for the main must be app.js and the next step is the script this one contains script that's going to help us to test or run the application so for this one i'm going to remove this one because in this project we are not going to implement test driven approach or testing and we have start and here it is using node to run our server in production this is how you need to configure it but in development we can use nodemon to start our server but lucky for us with a new version of node.js nodemon is no more used we have a script that we can automatically restart our server and i will show you and then we have the keywords and this one is important for seo purposes so i will say provide double quote and i will say api and then i will say mongoose 
you can provide as many keywords that you want. And then the author, I'm going to use Masintech, meaning the author for this project. And then inside the dependencies is going to hold all the dependencies that we are going to use to build this application. As it stands right now, we have Express as our dependency for building or creating the server. That is why we see a new folder called node underscore modules. And this one contains all the modules that we are going to install. Next step is let's create our server. So let's require express equal to require and then the express package. And then let's create the instances of app as app is equal to express as a function call. So next step is we are going to create our server and these are the steps. And for me, I have installed an extension called beta comment. And this extension can give me different colors for my comment. So here, if I use exclamation mark, I have it as that question mark and asterisk. All right. So let me have the question mark for red. So the next step is that we need to create the port for our server. And the next step is that we need to start the server. So let's have the port as const port is equal to, I'm going to use 5,000. And then let's go ahead and start the server. On the app, we have a method called listen. And then we pass in two arguments. The first one is going to be the port. And the second one is going to be a callback function that's going to signal us that the server is being started. So here I'm going to use console log as my callback function. And I will say backtick server is up and running. And then I'm going to inject the port as the port. All right. So now we have the server being created. How can we run it? and we have a couple of options so let's open the terminal clear it and we are going to use the one that you configured inside the script we are using start so here i'm going to make use of npm run start and now the server is up and running on this port or we can install nodemon to automatically restart our server and like i said that with the new feature of node.js nodemon is no more needed because we have a script to run and this is how you use it type in node dash dash watch and then the name of your file in this case server so when i hit enter well it's supposed to be double dashes but not triple dashes as you can see, our server is up and running. 